हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल इन दिस वीडियो आई विल कवर फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेस एंड कास्टिंग फ्रॉम प्रोडक्शन आई विल कवर फॉर्मिंग प्रोसेस एंड कास्टिंग दिस वीडियोज आर वेरी वेरी यूजफुल फॉर अपकमिंग भाइजैक स्टील एम टी एग्जामेशन एंड इसरो एग्जामेशन दिस इज पार्ट टेन लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू मैचिंग इफ यू डोंट नो ऑल फॉर ऑल्सो यू कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन माइल्ड स्टील इट शुड बी क्रेन हुक क्रेन हुक्स दे आर मेड अप ऑफ माइल्ड स्टील मेटेरियल इज माइल्ड स्टील सो ए ए विच थ्री एंड टूल स्टील टूल स्टील दे आर ब्लैंकिंग डाइज ब्लैंकिंग डाइज मेटेरियल इज टूल स्टील सो ए विच थ्री बी विच फोर यू कैन कॉट ए विच टू सो यू कैन कॉट ए हेयर ऑल्सो टू यू कैन कॉट सी B with फोर B here B with वन so you can cut B also D is your answer A with थ्री B with फोर C with वन medium carbon steel screws correct high carbon steel commercial beams D with टू so D is the correct answer in deciding the clearance between पॉन्च and die in press work in shearing the following rule is helpful so पॉन्च and die in shearing From option punch size controls hole size yes correct die size controls blank size both are correct so A is our answer a hole is to be punched in a 15 mm thickness plate having ultimate shear strength of 3 newton per mm square if the allowable crossing stress in the punch is 6 newton per mm square the diameter of the smallest hole which can be punched is equal to so for this question we'll consider punching and shearing punch crossing stress for punch and shearing stress for that plate material so in both case force will consider force of force for crossing equal to force for shearing then we'll solve this question so data given are thickness t equal to 15 mm then ultimate shear strength is 3 newton per mm square then crossing stress this is for punch is 6 newton per mm square diameter we have to calculate this is mm square so force for crossing on punch we have to consider for punch crossing failure and for plate its shear failure so force for crossing on punch equal to force for shear of plate we'll calculate and we know force is stress for unit area so for crossing on punch its crossing stress sigma u into area is pi by 4 d square then force for shear this one already discussed is tau ultimate or say ultimate shear stress into area shear area is phi d into thickness t we have to calculate pi pi cancel d also 1 d you, have, you will cancel so d equal to ultimate shear stress into thickness into 4 divided by crossing stress so put the values sigma u is 3 sorry tau u shear stress ultimate shear stress is 3 and thickness it's 15 then 4 divided by crossing stress for punch it's 6 It's thirty mm. This is the minimum diameter of hole. So from option B is our answer. For fifty percent penetration of work material, a punch with single shear equal to thickness. So here penetration and shear we are giving. Single shear equal to thickness. Is penetration we are giving reduces the punch load to the half value no increase the punch load to 
लोड बाय हाफ वैल्यू मेंटेन द सम सेम पॉइंट लोड इज दिस इज द आंसर पॉइंट लोड रिमेन्स कॉन्स्टेंट क्वेश्चन इज इन ड्राइंग ऑपरेशन प्रॉपर लुब्रिकेशन इज इसेंशियल फॉर व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग रीजंस टू इंप्रूव ड्राई लाइफ करेक्ट टू रिड्यूस ड्राइंग फोर्स दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट टू रिड्यूस टेंपरेचर यस टू इंप्रूव सरफेस फिनिश दिस इज आल्सो करेक्ट सो वन टू थ्री फोर फ्रॉम ऑप्शन डी इज आवर आंसर मैचिंग क्वेश्चन लिस्ट वन एंड लिस्ट टू सो ए बी सी डी ए इज रोलिंग रोलिंग फॉर फ्लैट सीट्स स्लीट्स एंड प्लेट्स देन फॉर्जिंग फॉर्जिंग आई थिंक यस डिस्क्रीट पार्ट्स देन एक्सट्रूजन एक्सट्रूजन वे आर डूइंग ड्रॉइंग फॉर रॉड एंड एवेयर देन एक्सट्रूजन थीन वॉल्स नो सॉलिड एंड हॉलो पार्ट्स ए फॉर फोर बी वन सी फाइव डी टू विच वन ऑफ द फॉलोइंग फैक्टर्स प्रमोट द टेंडेंसी फॉर रिंकलिंग इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ ड्रॉइंग रिंकलिंग इफ ब्लैंक होल्डिंग फोर्स रिड्यूसेस देन रिंकलिंग विल अकर सो फ्रॉम ऑप्शन इंक्रीज द रेसियो ऑफ थिकनेस टू ब्लैंक डायमीटर नो डिक्रीज इन द रेसियो ऑफ थिकनेस टू ब्लैंक डायमीटर नो डिक्रीज इन द होल्डिंग फोर्स ये सी इज आवर आंसर दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर डीप ड्रॉइंग लेट दिस इज द डीप ड्रॉइंग डिफरेंट एरिया व्हाट आर द फोर्सेस कॉम्प्रेसिव स्ट्रेस इन प्लेन दिस एरिया कॉम्प्रेसिव दिस इज करेक्ट टेन्साइल स्ट्रेस वाल वाल टेन्साइल दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट एंड टेन्साइल स्ट्रेस बॉटम पार्ट दिस इज ऑल्सो करेक्ट हियर विल फोर्स द पंच दिस इज पंच सो फ्रॉम ऑप्शन वन टू थ्री For obtaining a cup of diameter 25 mm height 25 mm by drawing size of the round blank should be approximately so our data given is its height given 15 mm diameter is here 25 mm this is small d small d is this diameter and height is from here to here we have to calculate size of the round blank so capital d you have to calculate and do we know pi by 4 d square it's equal to pi pi by 4 this area small d square plus this one pi d into height height is small h so from here pi you can cancel d square equal to 4 into small d square by 4 plus 4 dh then d d is the round blank size round blank diameter 4 4 cancel d square plus 4 dh so it's root over this is the case when corner radius is corner radius here corner radius small r but in this question corner radius not mentioned is greater than 20 this is the case not mentioned mentioned so take this one put the value d square It's twenty-five square plus four. D is twenty-five. H is fifteen. It's root over. It's twenty-five uh, root over six twenty-five plus 
hundred into fifteen one five double zero you'll get two one two five two one two five so you have to do the root over if you square from the options you will get a not possible b also not possible c is our answer it's approximation method you have to do same question with different values a cell of 100 mm diameter it's similar question 100 mm height with corner radius 0.4 mm is to be produced by cock drawing so r value given cell is like this here corner radius this is r value smaller corner radius small d and height is from here to here h d value is 100 mm then height also 100 mm r value is 0.4 mm direct first d by r you check 100 by 0.4 1000 by 4 it's 250 so d by r is greater than 20 blank diameter is d square plus 4 dh root over 100 square plus 4 into 100 into 100 root over so 100 square take common 1 plus 4 it's 5 so 5 root over is 2 point something 100 into 2 point something so you will get more than 200 so 225 this is your answer in get they will allow calculator so no need to worry 224 is our answer c is our answer question is the mode of deformation of the metal during spinning during spinning bending also we are doing stretching also we are doing so bending and stretching D is the answer. Question is which one of the following is a continuous bending process in which opposite rolls are used to produce long sections of form sets from coil or strip stock. Stretch forming no, roll forming no, roll bending. C is our answer. Question is, which one of the following metals forming process is not a high energy rate forming process? It's not a high energy rate forming process. Electromechanical forming, this is high energy forming, explosive forming also, electrohydraulic also high energy. So our answer is not a high energy role forming. B is our answer. Which one of the following is a high energy? Rate forming process, high energy rate forming, already discussed. Roll forming, no. Rotary forging or swagging, this is also no. Forward extrusion, no. Electrohydraulic forming, B is your answer. This one also already discussed in other videos. IES question also, same they ask for blanking, already discussed. It's shearing, stretch forming. It's stretch forming, it's tension, then coining, coining is compression, deep drawing, both already discussed, this one, for deep drawing here, compressive force, then this area, tensile, tensile force, here, compressive force, this one already discussed, so deep drawing D with 4. So our answer is D is our answer. A with 3, blanking with sure, B, stretch forming with 1, tension, C with coining, 
C with compression, sorry, coining with compression, D with for deep drawing, tension and compression. D is our answer. The spring back effect in fresh working, spring back effect, it's elastic recovery of the sheet metal after removal of load. In bending, we will face this problem, spring back problem. Elastic recovery of the sheet metal after removal of the load. This is not only sheet metal, other process also, other form of metal also, we are facing spring back problem. This question onwards, they are casting questions. The main purpose of chaplets already discussed in IS other, other different year questions. Main purpose of chaplet is to support the core. For directional solidification, chills and padding. Change the color. For directional solidification, we are using chills and padding. Which one of the following is the correct statement? This is IES question. Gate is provided in molds. In mold. here this is riser here so mold box is complete area parting line This is just a schematic diagram. Different parts, sprue, then runner, then gate, in gate or in gate, then mold cavity, then riser. Top part is coke, bottom part is drag. So you have to pour the molten metal from sprue. From sprue it will go, then it will go to runner, then get then it will fill the mold cavity this area is mold cavity then it will go up to riser riser function and sprue runner these things and other question i will discuss so in this question gate is provided here this is gate Get is the small opening. It speeds the casting at constant rate. A is our answer. And for compensation of shrinkage, we are giving riser. And one more thing for riser is important. It compensates liquid shrinkage and solidification shrinkage. This is the end of this video. Part 10. Other casting questions I will solve in next part. Thank you friends. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you.